Welcome to Three Reasons to Choose a Pen Name. I'm Big Doula, here from the Lord Kings, and this is the 10 Things You Should Know Before Self-Publishing series. A lot of self-publishers, when they first decide that they want to write a book or they want to write on certain topics, have to decide whether they want to use their real name or a pen name. I believe that choosing a pen name is a very good idea. The first reason to choose a pen name is if you have a really, really common name. So if your name's Mike, John, this hurts you when people try and search for your book, especially as a new author. Other authors that have the same first name might rank above you, or if people are searching on Google, other things may come up and distract them from actually finding your book if they don't know the title and they only know you the author. Now, this gives you a chance if when you select your pen name to get a name that is very dynamic, that is uh, exclusive, that will provide means for you to get more search hits and more search results when people try and search your name. In this, in this world that we live in, especially with the self-publishing, most of it is online. Not a lot of people are gonna see your stuff in bookstores. You have to be very cognizant on how your name's gonna turn up when it's searched. The second reason is you don't wanna bring undue attention to yourself. I imagine that most self-publishers, probably about 80 to 90% of you, will have another job when you start writing these books. So you don't know how the book that you're writing is gonna affect your career. Say you're writing a romance book, say you're writing a science fiction book with, with topics that are kind of might be outside of the bounds of a corporation. People are searching for your name for a job and this book comes up and then they have to wonder whether this is you did you really write this book? Um, if the reviews come up negative and, and it might come up negative on you as a, as a person until you're doing this thing full time or unless you are doing this in your respected profession. So if you're a marketer and you're writing a marketing book, then it might be advantageous for you to write that marketing book in your name because then that helps your career. That would probably be the only time I would suggest not using not using a pen name because that is directly you it reflects what you're trying to do but outside of that you you want to keep your personal life and your author life separate until the author life becomes your real life and becomes your professional life then if you want to choose to start using your real name at that moment in time i would say yes but if you're just doing this on the side you know, just don't, just just create the pen name. It'll make your life that much easier. Reason number three is what you, what you will find out as an author, as you start producing more books, you will wanna move outside of certain genres. You might start off saying you wanna do fantasy books and then uh, a year after you start, two or three books into the hole, you decide you wanna write romance. So you could have up to three different pen names and all those pen names could and should be separated into different genres. So you have one pen name that is dedicated for the teen audience, one that's dedicated for romance, one that's dedicated for fantasy. This is the best way to do it because that those connotations of the pen name help. So you have Stephen King, you have J.K. Rowling. If J.K. Rowling puts out a book, which is a pen name that isn't a real name, that is a pen name, you automatically know it's teen fantasy. If Stephen King puts out a book, you know it's gonna be horror, science fiction, uh, modern fantasy, or something of that nature. But if Stephen King were to put out a romance book and use the, use the name Stephen King, no one would buy it because they would think it's one of these horror books, or they would buy it and there would be brand confusion. So I feel like the third reason why is now you can create a brand behind each one of your pin names or just one of your pin names, but you can put a lot of stuff on that, on that brand name. It is a brand. Once, once you create the pin name, it becomes a brand. And yes, I do have a big marketing background. I work for a lot of big companies in marketing and you see it with the P and G's of the world, the Unilever's of the world. Buying behavior of the normal consumer is that they see a brand and they'll put the connotations onto that brand. To sum it up, my recommendation is to create a pen name and move forward. Uh, make sure your pen name kind of matches the genre that you want to go after. If you want to do romance, make it a little sexier. If you want to do fantasy, kind of make it more brutish, more, more, more tough. Make it represent the kind of content that you want to put out and that 
<clears throat> little bit of, 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 of branding, that little bit of pre-thought will help you out in the long run and will help you sell a couple more books. It's your boy, Big Doula, here at the Lord Kings. We're going to talk about writing resources for self-publishers here every Wednesday. We'll start going more and more in depth into the, the different technologies and, and landscapes and everything else like that for you. See you later. Watch, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Peace. Hello, and welcome to the Lore Kings. Today we're going to discuss on how do I become a writer series, the protagonist. Is first you have to start with a code uh, or a mission. And I think starting with either a code or a mission will allow